Hello, and welcome. I'm Cyrix Games, and this is Season 1 of Oatmeal SMP. This is a lightly modded Minecraft server that my friends and I have started together. Come along for the ride as we explore our new world. Alright, the game's officially started. Feel free to play. Do whatever. Oh! <laughs> Speed running into water, you mean? I was not expecting uh, this entire space to be right above a giant thing of water, giant ravine. not completely underwater so I can just get a couple of tools I don't know why mine's not going down like I did just as much well maybe not just as much running and then furnace excellent and where I dug, where did I dig? There was some coal. Oh. Trying to get yourself started. Like that. Hey, welcome! Alright. So... I will say that the one mod that I do miss very much is the tree cutter mod or tree chopper. Yes, because I have it in my single player world and it's so much easier. Uh, I kind of want to see how fast this goes. Woohoo! <laughs> Oof. Hello! Feel free to come in. Just. <laughs> Just something to get the. keep the mobs out. If anyone's got any coal, feel free to add it. Would you like me to mine where you're not standing? <laughs> Ooh, lapis. Funny enough, this uh, resource pack is allowing the lapis to uh, glow and actually provide some light. Right! <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> you know what? 
You know what? Let's not test fate. Let's go back. We can hear stuff poofing. squid. Alright. Oh! Hi! Where, where'd you die? Where'd you die? Oh! oh I see. Okay. Oh! Okay, y'all other stuff is still all good. The creeper is right there. Hold on. No! 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 The diamonds are safe. Ow. There we go. Uh, I do not. I think it might have blown up with the creeper. Oh, creeper, creeper. Oh, another one. Oh my goodness. We need to leave. <laughs> We need we need to get out of this area. <laughs> oh. There's a there's a bunch more diamonds down below, but I'm like tempted I don't want to tempt Ooh, fate. And uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go back into the surface and deposit what I have so far. Um... Oh, now I see... Now I see it. Oh, yes. Here. Alright, I'm gonna be... Right back. I'm just gonna deposit what we've gotten so far. Woo! Barrels! <laughs> I like barrels. <laughs> they maybe sound like the kid that says I like turtles. Uh, that. That. Man. This research pack that I have is too good. It's making everything look, look super... Like high definition 3D. <laughs> and I don't have an ounce of lag. Cool. Alright. Really? Uh, there's a bunch of ingots floating around in chests. I don't know if anyone will care if you pick up one. Ooh, is that an armor? Ooh, smithing template. Nice. Alright, I want to keep at least... Two diamonds for enchanting table, and I've already made a pick. I don't really want to use them to make boots, so I'm just going to hang on to the seven for now. Uh, I guess I could do a diamond sword. But feels like a little bit of a waste. Back, that back, that back. Doors. Sticks away.
uh, I asked him for one piece of leather, and then someone said one piece, and I and I was like, oh, yeah, oh right, the anime. Hello, enchanter. Woo! No books, but you know it's still an enchanter. First in the nether, uh... Uh-oh. Oh! Oh no, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no! Um... Oh, that was, that was terrifying. Still is. Uh... am I going? North? North, okay. I mean, this is very pretty. But we're looking for something other than snow. Ugh. Wait a minute, what is this? That's a ship! I found a ship! Uh, well, uh, don't mind if I do. Um, you still have your chest. Oh! Yeah. Fantastic! Ah! Oh. Why I took the, the zombie flesh, but sure, why not? That doesn't look like it has the other side. The half, hold on. Yeah, no, this is. This is super broken. I think this one might be the only one available. Part of it is embedded in the ice, I could try and... But the bottom of the boat is up there. That's where all the chests are. Oh, haha! Cool. Oh, 
it does show the coordinates. Oh, that's so cool. ourselves a little hidey hole. Right. This place needs some light. <laughs> Poppers. Lava. Dripstone.
Hey everybody, welcome back. Now that we've gotten ourselves situated, uh, I... And we're gonna be doing some my moss mining. Uh, for several reasons. One, we need lots of bone meal. Two, we need lots of greenery, and I love using the moss, moss and all the stuff that comes with it. On top of that, we need a lot of wood, and the azalea bushes will provide a lot of that as well. Uh, and on top of that, we're gonna be digging further and further down into the caves, so hopefully, uh, we'll find some ores and stuff along the way. Uh, let me show you. I've dug out this little space here. It's not that great, that big of a space for moss mining. And generally, you want to have an already dug out cave system to get the best deal out of it. But I figure we can get ourselves started here at least. I don't have a... I don't have a whole lot of material for this. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't prepare myself very well for uh, this journey, but I did gather, gather some things. Um, we have this, and we do have this, so I can put that in. The problem is that the bone meal itself, I'll have to catch. Will I? You know what? I set it up. You know what? I think we're actually just fine. I think I'm just being silly. Hold on. I put it there. Put you there. Put the other hopper up here. I think we're just fine. Yeah! I'm... I was... And hollering for nothing. Okay. Obviously, we don't have a whole lot of wood on us right now, but we are going to get more very quickly. Um. So, those of you who have never done moss mining before, this is how it works. Moss blocks convert stone into more moss or stone that the player has not placed and we just keep going until we either run out of bone meal or we cover this whole area in moss like that we have And see, we have a wonderful spot ready to be lined with a hoe. And we'll put these blocks here. As long as you have at least one moss block, you'll always be able to do this. It'll just take a little time. Everything that comes up from moss can be composted. So... Once we've mined up this whole space, all of the seeds, the moss blocks, the azalea bushes, the moss carpets, all of this can get put into a moss or into the composter to be turned into bone meal, and then we do the process all over again. Simple as that. I'm hoping as we do this, the caves will open up. And we'll have a bit more surface area the further we go down. But this process is probably going to take a while. And I'm probably going to cut away. Hey guys, welcome back. So. Uh, got a little bored. <laughs> you know, moss farming. I chose the most boring place. Or boring thing to do with my time here. So, I decided... That after a couple of blocks, I did a couple of layers. I did do several layers. And I got very bored very quickly. So, instead, what we've got is I went down to uh, the community cave, I should guess you can call it. And I'm going to do my moss mining here, where it's meant to be. See, moss mining is really beneficial, most beneficial when you can 
do it in a relatively flat area underneath the earth. Or underneath the surface, rather. Um, mobs are spawning all over the place, so I'm trying to get some coal to light more of the area up before I start really going to town on this, because it seems like mobs like to spawn in every nook and cranny that isn't completely lit up and like to chase me down. So, uh, I've been forced to, uh, provide more lighting for the area before I can really delve into anything substantial. For fear that a mob might, um, come out of nowhere and try to kill me, especially like a creeper? No, I don't really feel like having that happen to me. No, thank you. Hello, creeper. Oh, spiders. Oh, another creeper! Woo! <laughs> the mobs just seem to come out of every orifice, and I'm got more wood and made more torches that obviously that would that would fix the problem but um yeah I forgot to oh wait I have wood now and I have iron make myself a shield there we go providence has suddenly improved hey ho woo woo Neh. Okay, ready? Ah! Oh. Gotcha. Okay. That's taken care of. Good. Let's light this area up even further. You know, if one of you dropped a bow, that would be real helpful. I just heard a slime. <gasps> it's a slime! Oh, we got a slime chunk, folks! We got a slime out! Ha! Ha! Yes! Give me all them slime! Give me all your slime. All of it. All of it. Come on. Keep dropping it. There you go. Oh, there's more. How much did I get? Seven. See, if I get this area all lit up. We can moss this whole space. But obviously, th this goes on for a while. <laughs> uh, I light up the walls as well. The more I light this up, hopefully, the easier things will get. I think, I think we're at a good place now. Let's, let's start doing it. Whew. There's got to be a faster way to get get diamonds. Hmm. Maybe I have to channel my inner Grian. We shall have ourselves riches in no time. Huh. Let's gather some leather. I love this leaf touch. Oh, it's a little wolf! It's a baby wolf! Hi! Oh, you so cute! Oh, that's that's real deep. Yeah. gonna end the episode with enchanting this brand new pick. Ready? And... Woo! Okay, Fortune 2 Unbreaking 3 is fantastic. Would have loved inf efficiency, but you know what? We... Oh! There it is. Uh, well. Uh-huh. Guess I need to do a little bit more, uh, get some more experience. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.